Hello everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. Today is Wednesday and I figured I would come on today to change the sweet baby girl. This is my journey. For those of you who are new, she is an absolute masterpiece. I absolutely adore this baby. She is the Josie Lee sculpt by Connie Burke and she was reborn by Myra of Myra's Little Bugs and I absolutely adore this girl. She is just magnificently painted. The color palette that Myra used on her is just exquisite. She is, I would probably have to say, I hate to say it, but she is the most beautiful, beautifully painted reborn that I have in my collection and she is definitely a forever baby. I absolutely love her so much. She doesn't get that much airtime because I I do enjoy her privately a lot. Um, I just absolutely love her. Um, the stars had aligned and I was able to adopt her from my friend Tasha at Pixie Mommy Reborns and it, it was just an awesome experience and such a blessing that I was able to get this sweet little girl. Um, but I am going to change her today. Um, my friend Renee at Random Reborns and my friend Tasha were actually talking about something that was pretty interesting. Um, and that was, you know, how some dolls in your collection, um, how they look on camera as opposed to how they look in real life in front of you. And I do have some dolls and actually this is one right here. I feel that on camera and when I take photos of her, especially photos, I find it very difficult to find to take photos and to find photos that I like of her that look natural. Um, she is the most naturally posing, you know, posable baby that I have. Um, her coloring is magnificent, but I feel like in person you really get the full spectrum of everything fantastic that this baby doll is. And I feel like that that doesn't come across on camera or in photos. I really struggle taking photos of this little girl. Um, so she is definitely um, one of the dolls in my collection that you really have to see in person to get the full effect of just how exquisite this doll is painted. And um, Renee and Tasha were talking about, you know, the similar things. Um, Tasha has a new baby boy named Noah, and he's kind of... He's not a portrait baby of her son, but he resembles um, her son, Gabe. And she was talking about how she feels like um, she's not sure if um, how he comes across on camera. Um, he takes extremely photographic, um, he takes extremely photogenic photos. Uh, but she was just wondering if any of us, you know, ha had, you know, similar things. Um, and I definitely do. I definitely have dolls that photograph really well. And um, in real life, in front of you, they don't come across, you know, you can't <clears throat> maybe see the depth and stuff like that. Um, so I think that it's really interesting when you start thinking about these little things that really get you thinking um, about the hobby. Um, when I see this little girl in front of me, I can see her mottling and her veining and her details. But for whatever reason, when I look at her photographs, um, you can't really see that. And that may just be totally me. Um, but I don't think that in photographs she looks very realistic. I feel like she does look very doll-like. But here in person, she looks so realistic to me. So, I definitely am with you girls. <laughs> I definitely, um... And the same thing with Emmett. When I hold my silicone doll Emmett, which is the Grace Sculpt by Tina Kiwi, I 
can't see his details as well. But when I take photos of him, I feel like he looks so realistic in photos. So it goes both ways for me. I have some dolls where um, they just photograph really well and some that don't. And um, I like having... Um, I like having both in my collection. Um, as some of you know, I, I do make YouTube videos um, with my dolls. As I don't know if most reborn collectors do, but um, for me, that's a big part of my hobby. So I do like having do dolls that do come across well on camera, even if they're not as realistic in real life. Um, but how I feel about the dolls comes first. Um, so if the doll, I don't care how realistic the doll looks like in photographs, the doll has to have something that sparks me when I'm holding that doll. Whether it be the feel of the doll, the realism of the doll, how the doll's limbs fall, how the hair feels. So all sorts of different factors, and there are factors that I can overlook if the doll looks realistic on camera and not as realistic in my arms. But it has to kind of meet a certain criteria. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of my two cents about it. So I'm kind of along with you girls um, that were talking about this. I definitely like having both in my collection. Oh, she's so, this is really pretty. This outfit is from Mother Care, and I've had it for maybe about six or eight months now, and I just haven't put it on anybody. And it, I did have a plan to put it on her in the springtime. This really is more of a springtime outfit, you guys, um, because it is corduroy, even though it's a summer print. It is corduroy, but it is really chilly in my house, so um, I figured it would still work. Even though it's about 80 outside, it's chilly in here with the air conditioning. Um, so, and I have lots of choices for shoes. Um, I have these little, you know, probably not. I have been dying to put these on her. See how nice they look with her skin tone. They pull out that color. Um, they're just not right. And look at these socks. I also have these socks, these knee-high socks. I'm dying to put them on her, but as you can see, they're not going to work for today's outfit. Um, and then I have these little crocheted shoes with the little pearl detail. Those will probably end up being the ones I pick. The last pair I have are these little sparkly cream colored shoes which they go very nicely but I think I'm gonna do the crocheted shoes <coughs> excuse me I'm still kind of um, getting over a little bit of a cold that I got while on vacation and my husband has the cold now too and you know when men are sick <laughs> when men are sick it's like the world is ending uh, well, look at these little tootsies. Look at their feet. They're so cute. It's almost a shame to cover them. I'll probably uncover them when I'm enjoying her. But just for the sake of dressing her up here, I'm going to keep them on. And um, I did style her hair the other day, and I'm really still enjoying the style of her hair. Um, I kind of um, flattened down her curls a bit. And just come, kind of kept it curly around her face. And um, so I'm going to put on this headband. I did have a bonnet. But I just don't know if the bonnet is the right color. It's a similar color. I guess we could try the bonnet on. That's not going to hurt. Just to try it on her. Oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. <laughs> I think I kind of like the bonnet. You guys are probably yelling, no bonnet. Um, I think I kind of like the bonnet if I tied it on the side. I know it's not the same color blue that's in her outfit, but I think that it, 
is close enough to where it looks okay. And I don't have my little toothbrush. If I did, I would kind of comb her hair, the curls kind of up and around her. Her bonnet here, oh, she's so beautiful. She's just so beautiful, I love her. Oh, she's so cute. So yeah, she's definitely gonna do the bonnet. That is the choice. <laughs> um, I also wanted to mention that our dear friend June from Reborn Baby Hope and Joy, she had a really bad night last night and I got a message from her husband that she was back in the ICU. She was rushed to the hospital in the middle of the night. I think around probably 1 a.m. Um, so she is really struggling right now. They're going to get her back up on her feet and um, give her the, her breathing treatments that she needs. And um, so if you could all just pray for her. I know many of you are always praying for her, which is fantastic because prayers and numbers really do work. And we all love June so dearly. She's just such a fabulous person and such a big part of this community. Um, so if you could all just keep her in your prayers like you always do and maybe say a, an extra one for her tonight that she comes home feeling much better. I would really appreciate that and I know that she would too. Um, so this video is dedicated to her. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Journey here. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think that, how does she come across on camera to you guys? Um, I'm going to rewatch this video and see what I think. Um, but yeah, in the past she just looks very doll-like to me. But I won't be offended. I'm asking for you guys' opinions on what you think. If um, her skin depth comes across and all that because in person man oh man she is so stinking detailed she has she's just magnificent I just oh she's just breathtaking but um I hope everyone has a good rest of your day and I will talk to y'all later bye guys